Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we rode around on Reaper a little bit, and as it so happened, these two lovebirds over here, Thuringwethel and Sauron, had a bit of an egg. And, uh, yeah, I'm carrying it right about, not there, right there, yeah. Actually picked up a scorpion egg at the end of the last episode and thought I put that in a box, and I didn't. Nope. I did pick up a raptor egg in between episodes, but as it so happens, that raptor egg was not fertilized. I think I might have picked up a dilo egg in the last episode, and that one was not fertilized either, which is a shame. Now, the raptors, they're not moving. Hello, cat. You need to move. There you go. So they, they're not wandering, therefore they're not going to fertilize an egg, but cat... Thank you. However, the Dylos, who are wandering, could presumably create a fertilized egg. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens with that. But for now, I think we need to go ahead and uh, crack this egg open, so to speak. I mean, I don't really mean, you know, like literally crack it open. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to drop this one down right here. Look at that big, beautiful egg. It's too cold. Okay. How about if I stand next to it with a torch? You're still too cold. It's too cold out here. Well, I, I suppose I could take it inside. I'm a little worried about doing that. Um, hmm. How about if I get right up to it? Is, is that good enough? You're still too cold. All right. Well, how about if I put it right next to this fire right here? Right there, boom. Right next to a fire. Still too cold, it says. Bummer. I'm a little concerned about losing the health on it too much here. I mean, I suppose I can just wait a little until it warms up. So um, how about I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll come back with you a little later in the morning since it's still pretty early and uh, we'll see if that gets it warmed up. Because like I said, I'm a little hesitant to put it inside somewhere. That, that may not end well. Okay, it's a little bit warmer here, not a whole lot. Two degrees centigrade warmer, but that may be enough. I, I don't know. You are still too cold. So, I'm not sure. I guess the incubation hasn't actually gone up, so I guess I really do need to work on getting the temperature up. So, made one campfire here. Let's go ahead and just light it up and see what happens. I'm going to put my torch away because I don't I don't want to have that around. Wow, what do you need? What do you need the temperature to be? I'm... Wow, I don't know what to do here. you got to be careful because I don't want to lose that egg. Um, let me go ahead and check Sauron just because he has a couple of campfires handy and I can just go ahead and drop them basically right on top of things here. Uh, who might happen to have a lot of wood and thatch and stuff? I don't know. I mean, I have some thatch, I guess, so I can throw some of that in there. Yeah, I know I'm going to be hot, but the egg... There we go. The egg is incubating. So that's actually warm enough to incubate it. So I'm going to need to go grab some... Hmm, maybe I guess go grab some more wood. Uh, Big Bird might have some on him. Let's see what you have there, buddy. You sure don't. You have a turtle egg that you've been holding onto for some time. Now, never mind Beryl right there. I was going to tell you about her in just a moment. Now, Beryl is waiting patiently outside because she is carrying a boatload of meat. Well, I guess she's actually carrying a Spinosaurus full of meat. She went fishing. She actually went and hung out with Nada and Nado, and they decided to go chewing on sharks, and then she went and did some proper fishing after that. So she actually does have a fair amount of meat on her. Uh, I think it's going to be enough because, as I've said before, I do play with some increased settings, uh, such that my taming, mating, incubation, etc. settings are going to be a little increased over standard. So I really do think she's going to have enough on her that it's going to be enough. And if not, I do have some other food I can pull from. I certainly have other carnivores around who do have food on them. So uh, I'm trying to take care of this quickly here, and, and I'm hopeful that I grabbed enough meat in that. Uh, we'll see here if 
two is enough to incubate. Uh, two is actually good. That's that's going to be good. I'm 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 feeling better about that. So let's just go ahead and throw fifty in each of these guys here. That way they can just keep burning away. Um, that seems awkward. You might want to move, Miss. Here, um, can I just move you over here, maybe? I, hmm. I feel kind of bad about you being stuck right there. I mean, you kind of got yourself stuck there, so it's your own fault. But just the same, I, I don't really want you stuck there. That's, that's not really cool. So that is going to be warm enough. I have no idea how long this is going to take to incubate, and... Uh, I just know that it takes a while that, I mean, it theoretically takes hours to mate, and then it takes hours to incubate and get the egg to actually hatch. And uh, I don't know, should I should I have it warmer? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not saying it's too hot, so I guess that's okay. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm gonna kind of watch this for a little while and we'll check back in in a while and just kind of see how things are going Just checking on the egg. Oh, man, where'd it go? What the no, I'm just kidding. It's not over there anymore. It's actually over here I went ahead and brought it inside because um, Yeah, it needs to be kept really warm and I thought okay, even though it's still afternoon It's going to get cold outside and I can easier I have an easier time of controlling the temperature indoors. I mean, here we go, got the little house sign. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Nope, door's open, we got a draft, so we'll close the door if I can not target the sign. Here we go, and the egg, will, the egg will incubate in here. Now you can see, if you look at the two bars at the bottom, you have the egg health, that would be the very bottom one, and you have incubating, the egg, incub egg incubation. Man, that's a bit of a tongue twister for me, apparently. You can see there's a little bit of gray area now at the side. It's not all yellow. So there you go. It's actually moving down. And in this case, when that egg incubation meter gets all the way to the left and it goes away and it's all gray, that's when it's going to hatch. Uh, it's probably been a good mm, eight minutes since I last was with you. So uh, apparently I'm going to be spending a whole heck of a lot of time here watching an egg. Um, yay. Go me. Don't be too jealous. We're going to do something a little different. I don't normally do this, but um, we're going to cheat a little. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let me pop the egg back down over here. I've been sitting with it inside for well over an hour real time. I should mention that in that hour of real time I have spent, it has been doing this. Yeah, I've been running at 64 times speed, and um, I need to stop because it's too cold now. We must have a cold spell going on, we sure do. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm going to pick up the egg then. The heck with you, outside world. Show you. I'll just take it and put it back inside. Even though I don't really want it to be in here when it hatches, I'm a little concerned about that. But what I've been doing is just sitting with it like this. Yeah, I have absolutely been sitting here going fast. Now, I've said before I will occasionally do this if I'm taming something and it takes, it's going to take uh, hours and hours. I'll speed up time. To me, that's not a big deal. I'm not even calling that cheating because I've actually had things go awry, and you've not seen those episodes when that has happened. Or you've seen those episodes, and you have seen what happened and everything died. It just it depends. In this instance, however, I literally don't have the time to sit and babysit this egg. I just don't. So, I'm looking at it as a taming. I'm gonna just go ahead and speed time up a little bit and I'll take care of it. Now in this case, I've also done something else. You'll see it's in the command. I'll, I'll bring that up in just a moment here. So I wanna see 
what the temperature's like. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's actually evening out a little bit. We're going to go back outside. I think it'll be okay out here now. Uh, sign. Yeah. It's warm enough out here. I, I think we can do this now. I'm hopeful we can do this now. What I have been doing, because again, I just don't have time, and this is one of those instances where, I'm sorry, I've just decided it's okay. I've been giving myself spark powder, so you see that command up there, cheat give item num 108, 51 false. That means I'm giving myself 50 spark powder every time I do that. Now, you might think, you know, why not just give a lot more, but I've just been doing 50 a pop because I felt that was manageable insofar as not going overboard with things. And it's about to be too cold out here to do this again. Ah, and there are so many stupid animals walking by. I'm really annoyed with them right now. I'm sorry. When I have been trying to cook out here, they just all walk by and they get stuck. And I've thought about turning, wandering off, or building walls, or doing something. And I, I just... I've been too busy watching the egg that I just haven't gotten around to it, so there you go. Now I am going to have to turn this back to regular real-time speed momentarily, and uh, if it takes too long, I'll just kind of skip by that with a quick edit and post, because I don't want to miss the egg hatching because those first minutes I think are going to be crucial. now. I should also mention, I also took Gothmog out, and we went and did a little hunting for food, so oh, there we go. You know what? Here, let me, let me dump some wood in there and see if that'll be enough. I'm a little concerned about these running out. Now they have spark powder, or that one does anyway. Oh, that one is out, so you know what? Let me, let me take five of that one and just throw it in here before it goes out. And I'm gonna go ahead and take five out of this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in this guy just to make sure it doesn't run out with the wood going on there. So we'll just go ahead and let this run for a minute. And then uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna make a quick edit. And with any luck, I'll be right back with you momentarily in terms of real time for me and pretty much immediate for you. And there we go, we have a baby Rex who needs to eat. And how do I imprint? There we go. I'm not going to give you a name just yet. You are a female Rex. You're going to be able to eat thanks to the trough, which is, I guess, a good thing. But I actually don't want you pulling everything from the trough. That's going to be problematic. So let's go ahead and say hi to Beryl, who is carrying fair amount of meat on her and is actually ready for a level and so much of this has spoiled it's crazy I mean these were all stacks of 20 uh, that's probably not going to be enough for right now but um, what can you do oh baby t-rex you're following me how adorable look at that I'm actually really excited to get another female rex I think that's going to be awesome okay I want to move her I'm trying to find a spot maybe right about here come on baby t-rex where are you? Over there. Okay, get over here. Look at you, just bounce along. Okay, I'm going to have you stop right there because you are not at a point where you are going to... Hmm, you just chomp through food, don't you? I actually need you to stop wandering. Okay, you're going to stop wandering momentarily. Just for a uh, height's sake, here we go. That's me next to baby T-Rex sort of, except baby T-Rex is now wandering away. Come here, baby Rex. I don't want you over there, because you're just going to blast through the trough, assuming you haven't already. You might already have. I, I'm not 100% sure at this point. Okay, baby Rex, you are fine right there. There's a kind of a small spot where the Rex can stand. 
Now the thing with these guys in the maturation process, and man, I hope I'm not going to be up all night. I might be at this point. They will just blast through food because they're constantly trying to heal. They have this false hit point cap and they have a false food cap. And it seems to be a bit of a bug right now where they just blast through pretty much everything that you give them. So you can kind of let the food run down on them for a little while. Obviously not too much, because if you let it go down too far, they're going to run out of health and die. But you can let the food run down a little bit such that when you give them food, they'll actually eat the food and uh, theoretically get the nutritional value out of it and not lose everything to essentially overfeeding. Now this is a bug, I think, I'm not sure, it may be intended, but this is, at least at the time I'm recording, this is how it works. So if this is not how it works for you or if it has since changed, there you go. This game is in development, it is constantly moving, and in the time I spend creating a video and doing something the way I'm doing it may not actually apply when you get around to doing it. So I just gotta, I gotta throw that out there so you know. Now theoretically, I do have an increased maturation timer and an increased feeding or uh, hatching timer. I suspect they don't work. I really think they're broken and they don't work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this T-Rex is probably not going to make it. And if that's the case, that stinks, but I really do think that's going to be the case. I think that this is a bug right now. Things are not working as intended. And in the case of those server settings, I don't think they are working either. As far as I can tell, nothing has gone any faster than it's going on the official servers. About six hours or so is the hatch time on a T-Rex egg. And I told you I spent over an hour of real time running at 64 speed and now we have a T-Rex. So I truly believe things are not working as intended. So I think baby Rex here don't get attached. She's going to die because there's no way that I can stay up for the next several hours to just constantly feed her, never mind actually have the food to do that. But anyway, I'll hang, I'll, uh, I'll mess with this for a, a little while and uh, I'll go as long as I can and I'll give you an update when I need to basically end this and let you know what's going on. So you'll have that in, well, about five seconds. Having spent the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes just poking and feeding her every couple of seconds, you can see there's a sliver on the maturation progress bar, literally one pixel's worth. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this baby Rex probably not going to make it because I don't have, uh, let's see, I think it's 224 pixels worth, at least for some of those bars. I don't have that times 10 minutes to stand around, sit around, etc., and feed this baby. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it was fun while it lasted and I'll try one more thing just on my own. and. Uh, if it works, it'll be a great surprise for everyone, but I really don't think it's going to work. So just going to go ahead and say it was a cool, it was cool. It was fun. Uh, it was an interesting experience. And I really, truly hope that some of these server settings are just broken and not working right because, um, I mean, great. I get the settings on official servers where the game is primarily balanced around being multiplayer with big tribes, but on a private server or single player, this is untenable. And that would be the cat standing on the keyboard and making me look around, I think. So anyway, say goodbye to baby Rex. She was a good little dinosaur while she lasted. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Sorry, it's a bit of a downer way to end it, but thanks for watching. I'll see you later.